My name is Adam, and this is my father-in-law. My name is Randy, and I wear Starking hearing aids. When did your hearing loss first start? Well, I think I realized I was having hearing loss probably 15, 20 years ago, but I didn't want to admit it. And it wasn't until just the last few years that I was uh, willing to come to grips with the fact that I just was not hearing. Did it cause any issues or challenges for you? When I was working, I had my employ my my colleagues would would kind of tease me a little bit about uh, the fact that I wasn't hearing them, and they would leave little notes on my desk. And I thought it was just kind of a joke for a while there, but then I realized uh, more and more when we'd go out to dinner and, and try to have a conversation, I was constantly asking my wife, "What did you say?" We'd go to the theater, the show, and I'd have to stop and ask her, "What did he say? What did he say?" And, and of course, that was frustrating for her. And um, it was at that point in time that I realized that maybe my hearing loss was worse than I thought. Um, I began to come to grips with the fact that I needed to do something. Did you feel that your hearing loss made it harder to connect with your friends and family? Oh, absolutely. I mean, when we'd sit around and have uh, Christmas dinners or different family celebrations, birthdays. I, was, I always felt that I was kind of on the outside because I couldn't always pick up on what everyone was saying. And I didn't want to stop and say, hey, what did you say? It was a little embarrassing. And so I just kind of sat back and I think I lost out on a lot, especially with the grandkids. Uh, they would say things to me and I'd say, what did you say? And of course, kids being kids, they were, they were good to me, but uh, it got to be an issue and I really was concerned about it. So what prompted you to finally seek help for your hearing? Well, I think I finally sat down and talked with my wife and, and she finally looked me in the eye and said, uh, you have a problem. And, and I realized that I did and I couldn't deny it uh, anymore. Well, when we finally uh, got these new hearing aids, I was just astounded, first of all, at the comfort uh, that these hearing aids uh, provide and the clarity that I hear things. They fit perfectly well. And uh, sometimes I forget that they're even in. And so I am just uh, dumbfounded at the comfort and the clarity, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I hear things that I've never heard before. It sounds crazy, but it's, it's true. Good. So how do you think wearing hearing aids has actually affected you as a father? Well, I'm not sure a father anymore, but a grandfather has ah. sure uh, helped me a lot, especially with the kids, because uh, oftentimes they're running around and talking at the same time. And even our little granddaughter, Bexley, when she talks to me, um, it, it's, it's so much uh, nicer to be able to hear things that she has to say in her own little language that I now understand. <laughs> so Adam, you got to tell me now, we've known each other quite some time now since you married Olivia. And uh, when did you realize that I had a hearing loss? I remember. It was at a birthday dinner we took you out to, probably after a year of knowing you. And we were in a restaurant and I talked soft and you kept asking what, what. San Sandra and Liv were teasing you a little bit and then Sandra would give you that look of, you know, Randy. <laughs> so I knew there was something going on. I wasn't sure, you know, what was going on. But that was, that's when I first noticed there was and so what are the challenges you think that presented to us in our relationship? That mainly it starts just getting to know each other off the bat. You know, it's hard to, hard to, hard to talk to someone, get to know someone the first time and can't communicate with them. It's tough. Yeah, pretty hesitant, I know. And that, that made me feel uneasy too because I felt really embarrassed to keep asking. And I suppose it was around those times that I realized that, golly, I better do something about this. Um, life is too short to, to lose those opportunities. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day.